Ask Tom on Home Show. Lola from Missouri City needs a little heaving help. <laughs> no, she's heaving just fine. She's not. It's not her this heaving. <laughs> I know. I was wondering. <laughs> okay, go ahead. <laughs> I don't write Lola, this. I just say Lola, Lola knows a good time when she sees one. No, it's uh, yeah, it's yeah, actually no it's she's seeing heaving here on her floor, and you can see where the level Ooh. is kind of rising up off of it there. And so Lola writes, "My floor, which is ceramic tiles, you can see, is uh, it's rising, and it's risen about an inch in height and thirty six inches in diameter in one small area. What would make it do this, Tom?" Well, it depends. I think I know what the problem is, but uh, if you tap on it and it's somewhat hollow, it's probably letting go. If it's pretty solid, what I'm thinking is you have efflorescence growing in that spot, which means there could be a moisture problem under the slab, like a broken plumbing pipe or a drainage issue that's happening that's causing a high uh, moisture level, which is causing this. A lot of people have seen it like this white, uh, dusty, uh, kind of growth that happens on concrete. It happens in garages and stuff a lot. And you just have to wash it off because it is actually a, a, a kind of a fungus that grows out of concrete and it will make things rise like that, like a little dome. The only way to know is gonna to be to uh, pull up one of the tiles. But if they're starting to get loose, that's probably what's happening is the efflorescence is coming up. Whether it's a full inch or not, I'm not sure. But with the level, it probably, if you push down on one side, it's going to go up like a teeter-totter and look pretty high. But it can cause a dome like that. And if that's the case, you have to pull those tiles up. All that stuff has to be scraped off and cleaned. You can lay the tiles back down if you can save the tiles. But if you have an underground plumbing problem or drainage problems causing so much moisture right under that spot, it could come back again. But I have a feeling efflorescence is your problem. And so that's going to mean pulling up the, the floor and replacing the tile then. Right now, what I would do is I would take one tile out of the highest point because I think it'll come up the easiest and just chip around. And if it sounds hollow, it should come up pretty easy. Maybe you even have some replacement tiles like a box somebody saved for you. Lots of times it happens. Many times it doesn't. Then you're probably going to have to talk about a whole new floor, or different tile put down. Uh, but I have a feeling the only the only way you're going to know is to bring one up and take a look at it. But I, I really think uh, that's it. Now, if it was just squeezing all the tile and the tile just popped up, you wouldn't know it because the tile would kind of move under your feet because it would be super hollow under there. And it, does, it doesn't sound to me like she's having that problem. She would have explained it that way, that the tile is actually coming up because then you could just pop it up off the floor. The good news is we've got people who can help you with this at homeshowradio.com. Scroll down like yeah. um, a cutting edge tile removal. If you need to pull the tile up and re replace the whole floor, they can do it dust free. Texas Floors can help you with your floor. And uh, Yeah, I would call you. Texas Floors and have them come out first and just take a look at this thing before mm -hmm. you start getting uh, the tile removal people out. Okay. Because and the, maybe they can find some way you can fix it. All right. All right. There you go. You got a question, Tom? will help you just like that. By the way, all you got to do is go to homeshowradio.com, click on the blue ask Tom button, fill out this form, send us a picture like Lola did. And, you know, Lola, what Lola wants, Lola gets. And she got an answer. Nice. So, oh, very old song there. Uh, but anyway, with apologies to Mel Torme. But anyway, the um, we'll be happy to help you out, too, even if your name's not Lola. Go ahead and send us your question and we'll post because we post a new one of these every day uh, on our YouTube channel and at homeshowradio.com.